Frankfurt am Main, Germany's banking metropolis, hub to the wide world. Frankfurt was once one of the strongholds of techno in Germany. Clubs like the Dorian Gray and the Omen attracted countless clubbers from all over the world at the weekend. The label landscape also once flourished in Frankfurt. A label that is largely forgotten today is the New Zone label founded by DJ Talib 2XLC in 1989. The well-known Frankfurt native, who also founded the Techno Club in 1984, initially released his first records on Westside before running the Technodrome International label in cooperation with CYX. In 1989, Tala finally started his own company Music Research with a silent partner. The first two labels under the Music Research umbrella were Zoff Amig, more EBM and Industrial Oriented, and the New Zone label. With a sound somewhere between EBM and early techno house sounds, New Zone was dedicated to more danceable electronic sounds even before techno celebrated its final breakthrough in Germany and was to become the defining sound of the next few years. Most of the artists on New Zone came from the Rhine-Main area and the Frankfurt suburbs. For example Marcus Nikolai, who released two of the first highlights on the new label, Umo Dedic and Nostromo Department. He was also part of Bigot 20 and is now one of the two owners of Perlon Records. Other artists included Stefan Westfall with his Project Noise Control and Andreas Frozi aka Blind Vision. He was also one of the resident DJs at the Techno Club in its early days. Another highlight of the label were three times six produced by Nori and Ramin. Unfortunately deceased in the meantime, Ramin landed some veritable techno and trance hits later in 1992 with Brain Ticket on Dance Ecstasy 2000 and numerous other releases. One of New Zone's most successful acts was Concept, consisting of Giora Shine and Holger Wick. Shine later wrote pop history in Germany with Captain Hollywood and the song More and More, while Wick celebrated underground success with his labels Labworks and Virtual Recordings. This was followed by acts such as Pornitanz by Uwe Schmidt aka Adam Hart and Olaf Finkbeiner, who also ran the pod label. Other acts were Utec, a side project by X Marks the Padwalk, and Master Program. In 1992, after just over 20 releases, New Zone finally came to an end. The period between 89 and mid-91 in particular was absolutely crucial for what is now known as the sound of Frankfurt and produced some early German techno tracks. Some of the records are also referred to today as Proto Goa, such as Concepts Hypnotic Beats, which was played up and down over there. But New Zone releases were also very successful in Spain, the USA, Mexico and many other countries and achieved cult status. DJs like Helena Hoff, Adam X and others have rediscovered some New Zone releases in recent years, bringing a touch of the early 90s back to the international dance force.